Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Outlast Whistleblower. Where we left off, we are escaping a nasty, murderous misogynist who wants to turn me into a woman. Isn't that nice? But yeah, we uh, we just got off that uh, operating table as operating table, uh, if you remember in the last episode. It's been a while, it's been a while, but don't worry, this is the last episode, we're going to be done after that and then we're going we're gonna to move on to Outlast 2. Sorry for messing up my words there, I'm talking too fast. Let's just continue. Yeah, that thing. Nice. You notice he stole all my batteries. Still intact. I'm here, Lisa. I'm still me. He he <laughs> tried to make me his bride to cut me. Maybe I was wrong. Telling the world would only draw it here. Should this place just die and fester here, I won't tell the world if it means spreading the infection. Let it die alone. Let it rot. Okay. Yeah, he took all my batteries, the bastard. How do I run? I don't remember how to run. How do I run? Hold on, how do I run? Oh yeah, that's how you run. Oh. Nope. You did not see me. Gosh, it's been so long. I've missed out last year. It's actually been so long. I told you he's a misogynist. Oh, I'm out of batteries. Brilliant. Where are you going? Nope. Let's get up. Oh no! Oh, he's right behind me. Oh, he's right behind me, isn't he? so sorry but uh i don't like you you're trying to make me into a woman and uh, i don't appreciate that oh, let me pick that up this is his file patient eddie glasgow aged 46 apparently i read somewhere that um the developers of outlaws got his name and the cannibal's name mixed up I don't know, I think I, I read that somewhere because he looks younger than the cannibal. The cannibal looks like he's in his 40s. He looks like he's in his 30s. Anyways, uh, yes. Uh, remains frustrating interview subjects. Yeah. Very uh, traumatically violent ongoing sexual experience Ugh. with his father and uncle. And there's photographs about it. Um, yeah. So basically, before being admitted to uh, the asylum, he was a murderer of women and he'd cut them up and stuff. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's because of his uh, abusive sexual relationship with his father and uncle. How pleasant. Are there any batteries here? Yes, there is. Sweet battery. Sweet. I need to reload it. Of course. This door needs a key. Find the key. Another battery. Nice. Sweet. Sweet battery. Nope, can't go there. That's very interesting. 
Where am I going again? Oh, here. <laughs> Silly me. There is another battery in here, that's for sure. There it is. I thought I already picked up that other one. Oh well. <laughs> At last it's been too long, old buddy, old pal. That is charming. Bodies hanging like wet laundry, like skinned rabbits. Men mutilated, hunted and murdered. The shortest distance between any two points separates violence and ruined lust. Whatever story he's telling himself, he's not making women to bear his children, he's making women to kill them. Like I said, misogynist. Lisa, I want you to burn this place and, and any evidence it ever existed to the ground. Destroy the Murkoff Corporation, bury it in shame, take away its money, wipe it from history. This man thinks he's in love, he thinks the therapy made him better. Everything reeks of death and fear. Piss and coppery blood meet decomposing to game. Very charming, uh, Waylon. Very charming. Yeah, so these are... That's a lot of men. A lot of fake women. Sewn on boobies and whatnot. That's really disgusting. This guy's really messed up. Nice. Really messed up. Yeah, let's not. <coughs> let's not. <laughs> oh gosh, dead end. Why would I do this to myself? I have to go back, don't I? <coughs> stop singing. Just just stop singing. Oh look. The wedding he wants us to have. No, we're not. Gump says, I was running, and he was. Yeah, sure. Yeah, as I was uh, saying, there's this glitch where before you pick up the key, you actually open this first and open the door, and then grab the key, and then that way, two of him appear. Does he not see me? Yeah, he sees me. Does he not see me? Close this. Did he literally hear nothing? Wow, he's dumb. Why well, don't go through there? that dumb. Is he that dumb? Probably. What's that? Is that him? Oh well.
I gotta give it to him, he does dress nicely. <laughs> Anyways, enough of that. Time to go home now. Time to finish this. Saving, good. <coughs> Wayland's limping everywhere. This is this is good stuff, it's right here. Got the key, don't I? I have the key. Time to leave. Time to go home. Yay! Oh. Oh no. You done goofed. I tried. I tried. You are great. You can hang like the rest of them. snow. Heavier than you look. If this is you on the honeymoon, I hate to imagine. He's calling me fat. Let me go. Just let me go. Hold still. God damn it, what are you? Oh, damn it, darling! No, you need to be Oh. We could have been beautiful. Dead. The amateur surgeon. Sur surgeon? Whoa. The amateur, the amateur surgeon. Father to be husband. Father to be husband. His gut spreaded. Sh shredded. I, I can't read. And pulled from his belly. I'm trying not to laugh. Oh, God, Lisa, I swear to you, I'm trying. <laughs> oh, Waylon. Wow. <laughs> Nice, that's, that's real charming. Oh, I suppose he, you know, he uh, got his comeuppance and he died just like, just like the rest of them did actually, which is uh, rather ironic, if that's the term. Oh my god, freedom. We can go home. We can go home. May award. Chapel on fire in the distance. I didn't even know we had a church. Where's God when you need him? See, that's cool to see because you know that that was shortly after Waylon witnessed uh, Father Martin burning to death, which is really cool. It's nice to know that there's like certain things going on at different times. Or, well, yeah, not not necessarily different times, but you know. He chose to I dress like that. Dick and balls tonight to last me a lifetime. Not all of them attached to a man. Wow. Let's wrap this up and get back to the truck. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Seen enough dick and balls. <laughs> That's funny. Corporate cops, mercenaries, private military contractors, whatever they call them now. They're as helpless as the rest of us. Need to get out. Escape. Primary objective. Escape. How the hell did they pull him out of the elevator anyway? 
got what you deserved as well. So sorry to say that, but you, you, you did. You got this coming to you. Oh. Oh shit. This place is really going to hell. I mean, it's already gone to hell, but it's going to hell even more. Sweet battery. I don't know why we need that. We're pretty much going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very insightful. Ooh. Guys. They don't even care about the shooting and stuff. They're just gonna shoot these people. That's, that's nice. Hey. I don't know, how did they drag you out of there? Like, it was super hard to get you out. Anyways. This music. It almost sounds like there's hope and freedom for us. Are we almost there? Can this be? This is where we were in the beginning. This is where we came from. And this door suddenly has a lock on it. Interesting. I can open that. Hey, a conference room. A document. Nice. as well. So I just want to see if there's any last minute documents I can pick up. Just in case. Bathroom as well. Yeah, no one cares about batteries at a time like this. Making sure. You notice how some of these doors suddenly have locks on them now? They don't used to have locks on them. Mr. Park! You little bitch. <laughs> how the fuck are you still alive? I love how Will has time to write stuff down while <clears throat> Jeremy's talking. Jeremy Blair, my supervisor's supervisor, a man who'd see my who'd see me skin salted and raped for a promotion, and a few and few martinis, injured, dying if he's not already dead. I'm trying to feel sorry for him, really I am. But there's no way in hell he's stopping me from getting out of this godforsaken place. I'm coming home, Lisa. Let's make a deal. Nope. You help me, I'll help you. God, I'm stuck like a pig. You asshole. You tried to kill me multiple times. Don't think I didn't know. I've got it all documented on this here camera. I'll trust you. Help me up. Shouldn't trust him. Oh, no, we're so close. I'm so close. Come on, don't you dare do no this. No one can know. No one. Come on, man. Wow. Bye bye, Jeremy. So close, you can do this. Just one more push. Push like your life depended on it. Oh, poor Jeremy. Oh god. Ouch. 
out. We are leaving this place. We're leaving it for good. Oh, it's so beautiful outside. Such a nice conclusion to a, a horrible be beginning. Goodbye. I I I'm out of here. I'm gone. I love how we're taking Miles' jeep. Hope he doesn't mind, wherever he is. We're taking Miles' jeep. I'm coming for you, you beautiful jeep. Who's that? Oh. Miles, Miles, don't you dare. Miles, no. Oh. Oh no. Did we make it? You press that button. There's no going back, Mr. Park. There's enough hard evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends at Murkoff. You got out of Mount Massif alive, and we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. But our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoics with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, there'll be nothing to murk off but ways to hurt you. Fine by I me. need you to understand the bridge you're crossing here. You will do irrevocable damage to the company. You might even get close to something like justice. But once you click upload, your life is over. Everyone you love is fucked. But it's the right thing to do. Is hurting Murkoff worth that much to you? <laughs> we did it. Another Outlast game completed, I'm so happy. <laughs> that was good stuff. God, I, I just, I don't know why, but I just love the game so much. I just, my favourite horror game by far. Just everything about it, the atmosphere, the, the spooks, the music especially, the music is great, I love the music. The soundtrack is amazing voice actors, everything, like, it just the characters are so, like, unique and it just makes it really interesting, it's just, it never bores me, I just, like, I can't play this game bored, it's just, it's always so fun to play, and we've completed it now, which is amazing. Um, I'm gonna skip this. Sorry. Sorry, Atlas, you did, I, I want to see all the people who made the thing, but I've already seen it, it's okay. <sighs> we did it. But, uh, theory that I have seen and I hope is true. Um, I don't know, I mean, unless Outlast were to debunk this theory, but at the end when um, Waylon is leaving in Miles' Jeep, people say that it's not, like Miles being the wall rider now, Miles was actually, because people were saying how that turn radius on the car was so like ridiculous, because uh, cars don't turn like, that it, like the angle was just so I mean it might just be the, the way the game was, was done, it's just it was a bit sloppy at the end, I don't know but people said that it was like that people like to assume that it was that because Miles was actually helping the, the Miles side of him what was trying to fight the wall rider trying to get at him I suppose so I think there's still like a good part left in the wall rider which is that little spirit of Miles inside of him, helping pushing, like, helping the car push, push along to escape the war rider. That's what people said. I think that'd be pretty cool if that was true, if there was still, like, a little bit of humanity left in them, the war rider, or Miles as well. But that was really cool. It was a really cool ending, because so many people were disappointed with the first ending, Miles not making it out. Um, but I think that that makes it up in this in this ending because Waylon does escape and people still know like you saw he uploaded the the file so people do know about what Murkoff did in the end so it's kind of like 
Miles died trying, but Waylon actually managed to do it. So, and it would Miles wouldn't have come and 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 done his best to try and stop the place anyway if it wasn't if it wasn't for Waylon sending that email. So, uh, what a good game! I can't wait to play Outlast Two, which is going to be after this. Get excited, get hyped. Do try and stick around for my live streams if you can. Um, I do my I do my best to post up any updates or anything on Twitter. So if you want to find out any of that kind of stuff, best place is to follow me on Twitter. I'll tell you when I'll be uploading next or certain things. Or if you just want to know random stupid stuff about my life, then go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Um, but yeah, everyone, thank you so much for watching watching these videos these outlast videos with me and it, it's been a real journey i really hope that you've enjoyed it and if some of you haven't seen the outlast games before and decided to watch my playthrough then thank you so much it really means a lot and uh i can't wait to do the second one but it's going to be scary because i haven't played it before i don't know where all the spooks are I, i'm not used to it so it's going to be some some fresh scares some some fresh reactions fresh fresh meat <laughs> anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you all in the next one stay rad my friends bye when i was a boy my mother often said to me get married boy and see how happy you will be gotcha bitch